local law enforcement will be on the lookout for drunk drivers this New Year's Eve. KCCI's Mark Tauschek is live in the newsroom with that. Mark? Well, we've heard a lot about Uber, the app-based transportation network that started operating here in Des Moines this fall. This will be the company's first New Year's Eve here in the metro, and they expect to be a popular choice. I feel good about that. I feel good about uh, keeping people off the street when they've had too much to drink. This retired grandfather becomes an Uber driver whenever he wants to be in a service. You can find his sleigh icon, request a ride, and track his progress. The young people are, are using it uh, pretty regular. An Uber spokeswoman told KCCI 70% of all Uber rides in Des Moines occur between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. on Friday and Saturday nights and expect New Year's Eve to be nonstop. But whether you like Uber, a designated driver, or the traditional taxi, Choose one. I think people plan ahead a lot better. Bob Raykemper is a West Des Moines attorney who specializes in defending drunk drivers. He says don't assume there are more drunk drivers this time of year. Christmas and New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we see a, a pretty good slowdown, noticeable slowdown in new OWIs. Ray Kemper says if you're convicted of an OWI for a first time, once you factor in everything from fines to taxes to fees, court costs and penalties, your out-of-pocket costs can easily wind up over $7,000. With all the options, it's easier than ever to make the right decision. I didn't see this kind of service back in my day. If this was available back then, I sure would be using it. Now, Uber doesn't release the number of drivers they employ in any market, but Rich told me he's seen as many as 35 drivers working at one time on weekend nights here in the Metro. Live in the newsroom, Mark Tauschek, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.